Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today uh, we're going to be talking about what happened last weekend at Maker Faire. So uh, the three robots I have in front of me are the three that I took to Maker Faire. Obviously my brand new beta that you guys just saw on this channel, uh, it's a little bit broken open right now, uh, mostly because I've been kind of doing a little bit of uh, post-flight stuff to it, looking at the weight distribution and things. Uh, to see how all of that was going. Uh, but we'll talk about him in just a second. Uh, I also have Don't Need Roads, my Antweight Drum Spinner, and Slightly Rubber, which is a TPU version of a uh, Antweight that I built some time ago. But all of these we have talked about on the channel before. So like I said, last weekend I was at Make a Fair. Make a Fair is always a lot of fun. Um, this year, the Maker Faire that I go to, Maker Faire in Adelaide, was upgraded from a mini Maker Faire to a larger Maker Faire, like to a regular Maker Faire, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, due to fighting, well, unfortunately, I guess, due to fighting robots, I didn't really get to spend a lot of time looking around, but there was some really cool stuff out there. Um, and obviously, there was some really cool stuff that I was doing because I was fighting robots. Now, um, talking about that fighting robot stuff, we're going to... Uh, start with the ants in terms of uh, fight reports. So the very first fight that I had for the day was with Don't Need Roads. Now Don't Need Roads, as you guys have seen, is my little 150 gram drum spinning robot and it is powered by an Arduino sitting right in the back out there. Now unfortunately normally when I run this Arduino I insulate the Arduino um, with a bunch of things that some mostly just uh, Velcro. However, I didn't do it in this case. I got a very, very big hit into a wall, and that was that. Uh, this guy shorted something in the Arduino boards. I don't actually quite know what yet. I haven't managed to find what's going on with it, uh, but it did short that out, and it did kill that board completely. So I now need to completely resolder this board and get that up and running, but that did mean that he was a one-and-done robot for the weekend. It was a case of one fight and he was gone, which is very unfortunate because I didn't really get to test out the new beta bars all that well. Oh well, that's something that we're going to uh, resolder this, get things a little bit more sorted and hopefully next month at the Antweight fights he will be up and running at full speed. Um, now Slightly Rubber is the robot I entered in 2v2, so don't Need Roads was entered in open class and Slightly Rubber was entered in 2v2s. Slightly Rubber has been going exceptionally well for about four or five months now. After I printed Slightly Rubber, I have just been continuously fighting it uh, and it's gone very well. It holds up against a lot of things. The only problem is I haven't done any maintenance to this robot ever, basically. Uh, so the drive on one side, the gears have started to let go and seize up which meant that my drive wasn't the greatest thing. However, we did still manage to come second uh, for that competition, uh, sorry, not second, third for that competition in the 2v2s, which was really, really awesome. Um, I don't really have any footage of this guy fighting because a lot of the time I was uh, rushing around and getting other stuff sorted uh, right before fights with him. I will also put a link in the description to my 2v2 partner, Jaden. Uh, who runs a different YouTube channel here uh, on YouTube and you can go and check out his videos. He does some pretty cool build time lapse type videos. Um, yeah, so that's the, the ant weights out of the way. I just want to do them really, really quickly because not a whole lot actually happened with them. Uh, slightly rubber, as I said, performed pretty well but had that motor issue, so I need to change that motor up and then slightly rubber will be ready to go back into the arena. But it's a kind of a good reminder to uh, do maintenance on your robot even if you don't think they need it. Uh, so that leaves this guy. This is not again, I don't think I actually mentioned the name of this beta weight on camera, but it is called Not Again and it is spinning this bar. Now this bar is a 300 gram mild steel bar and it's basically being held on with 3D printed um, and caps with um, just skateboard bearings actually in the ends and then those are being held in place with two bolts through the outer frame. Now that means that this entire 300 gram mass is spinning 
and being held in place with 3D printed plastic. Now, as some of you pointed out, this is weak. Uh, so, in my very first flight, I got the thing up and running, and in the first hit, it broke. <laughs> One of the bearing holders and uh, rubber band guides uh, snapped completely, and the weapon fell out, which is not ideal, especially as my opponent kept going, and the other problem was, when this fell out, one of the bearings hit the table, and that was that. I ran over top of that bearing and was high-sided and could not move. So, they highlighted a couple of issues. One, that these uh, 3D printed holders, weapon mounts, were really not strong enough, especially in the PLA. Now, this green one here is PLA, and it's one, one of the ones that snapped. And then the silver one that is actually connected, or grey one that is connected down over here, is ABS. Now these ones held up better. Thankfully I did have uh, a bunch of different spares going into this. However, uh, the force was just too much. So even when the spinner started working better in kind of the second fight, uh, I still had issues with that where when I unbolted the weapon mount at the end, there was nice big delamination in the layer lines and also some damage from where that saw blade hit and uh, yeah, it just took some, took some nice chunks out of there as you can see, which really, really was not great. Um, especially considering that this was actually bolstered with hot glue. I hot glued all around the edges here uh, to try and hold that, hold those layer lines together and get those to work. Um, and then the third fight didn't really fare too much better, once again getting delamination in the layer lines along here. However, these things held up a little bit better. Um, I was able to get a couple of hits out of them before um, the fight was over for various different reasons. Um, but I was getting this delamination, which means it would not have held on forever. So the upgrade that this guy needs at some point in time is either machined harder plastic for these so that they don't have layer lines that can split or a machined aluminium version of these uh, so that they just don't break in total. Now that's actually why this guy is in pieces right now. He was right on the weight limit uh, for the beetle including a, the whole 1% extra that my particular club gives uh, for these things. So I'm now trying to pull the whole thing apart, weigh all of the pieces, and try and work out where the weight is sitting so that I can work out where to effectively cull weight from. Now the other thing too, and the other reason I'm doing that, is that I didn't have the greatest handling. I seem to have some issues either with the uh, the wheels or with the motors, or just with the positioning of everything in general. I wasn't getting great maneuverability out of both um, wheels here, which is not great. It means that there is something going wrong uh, with this drive system and I wasn't able to connect hits as well as I wanted to because I couldn't drive very well at all. Uh, and that was a big reoccurring theme for the weekend. So this guy was interesting because it was kind of a one hit wonder that could barely drive. Um, and as you can see, I don't have a trophy for this because I think I came in like 4th or 5th or something overall for the weekend. I didn't do very well, but that's okay. This is my first beetle. We've got things that we can learn from this. Uh, so that's what, gonna, what we are going to do going forward. We are going to learn from this experience. I'm going to pull this whole thing apart, as I said, work out where the weight is, cut some weight and reconfigure the whole robot so there is more weight over the wheels. I think I also need to change these wheels up. They do seem a little bit flimsy as I'm wobbling them side to side here. Uh, it seems as though they're slipping on those motor shafts, which they should not be doing. So, like I said, pulling this whole thing apart, doing some reconfiguring, uh, trying to get some more weight over these wheels and get these wheels working a lot better. And then, yeah, making these new weapon mounts so that they don't break in the first hit. But, like I said, that is how it all goes. The first version of any robot is never going to be a great version. There's always going to be things that break and especially when it's the first one you try and actually do in a new weight class. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's how I did at Maker Fair. I wanted to keep this one relatively short um, and just get to the point and talk about what happened and confirm that 
some of the things didn't quite work as well as they possibly could have. Uh, but that is all a learning experience. So there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.